I can't tell sure if her hair is gray. It might be gray. I need like I a can't. Not after what I did. God, Clive, get it, bro. Woe is me, motherfucker. You Lady killed some Hannah bitches. She would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. I need like a high res or full res. I can't tell if her hair is blue or gray. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. Boy, shut I up. I swore that I would avenge his death. So it is I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, Hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Are you though? Do you remember that night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon? Yep. And I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. Was it? Are you sure? Are you sure? You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Do it, 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 do it. We should get some rest. There she was. Sitting there across the way. Da na da na na da 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 You gotta kiss the girl. My lord, oh my lord. Right. Bro, Good like, night. we're gonna get beds, bro. Like, come on. We don't get beds, Sleep bro. Out. Not a single bed. Orco. Thank you. Oh yes, the swag. Now swag that. Not flee at the sight of me. Swag you that. look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. Swagged out. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. 
He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. My no man's no, chest is 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 what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sore too. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Mm -hmm. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Let's go, baby. I got some new clothes. And I got bro. And I got a new sword, bro. What plus sixty, bro? Plus fifteen. What? If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. So there has to be some sort of shopkeeper, right? Yeah. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. It must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Well met, friend. Care for some music, bro. You bugging. Here you go. Da. Here you go. No, oh, well, you won't say no. Got anything else for me? I know. Okay, I will be traded for. It should make me a few gil. Got anything else for me? Oh, well, you won't say no. Should make me a few gill. Come back soon, now. Leave hmm. our trip. Just in case anything were to happen. By the flames, you're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. 
My Paris. Your boy got Paris? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Poole. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. Send them to the hideaway. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Oh, I thought this was a side quest. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. We were gonna leave. Why are we doing side quests? We were gonna leave. Sure, this orifice will see us through winter. Ooh, just maybe. Got my coin. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Mm -hmm. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Oh. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? 
No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? Nope. We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All oh, the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took out Fuck them taxes, bro. <sighs> oh, Say it again. Fuck them, them taxes. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either. <sighs> though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Fuck them taxes, bro. Hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taking the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in Boston the stables. Texas. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. Chocobo, choco, choco, choco. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. How's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. Mm -hmm. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Because I lived here before. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Shit again, I already killed shit here, right? Yeah, I already killed shit here. Almost like I gotta fight this shit again. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. 
We should hurry. Yo, is he about to jump? Company. Bees. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Keep your distance. Don't let them get away. Give them all you've got, boy. Experience, bro. We got we got to work on this final square. We we got to work on that. Si only sixteen experience, bro. What you doing, my guy? Can I talk to you for a minute? Are you all right, my friend? Come on, let's go home. Your grace, you came for me. I did. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm. Not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come. And at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you... I would gladly wait until my dying day. That is loyalty, my dog. That is my guy is a ride or die. Ride or die. Ride or die, yo. It's my guy, bro. We should just take them to sit hide away. I think that's the best. That's the move right now. You need to send a pigeon or Thank something. You. Carry your owl. You carry your chocobo. Kind. Like. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey.
I saw a spider. Is there is that a spider? I guess we'll we'll stop here. So that way we're not stuck with a cutscene, but we will we will save the game here. Uh, any upgrades that I can make? I'll hold off. I want that super, baby. That has to be a super. And this has to be a super. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll save here. Return to the title. And... About 10 minutes left. Okay. I do I do like the fact that like the PS5 tracks. <laughs> like the progress? Like it says, hey, like, you're here. Or you're here. But needless to say. The more we unpack this. The more it starts, to, the, the more it becomes, it gets more depressing. And, but again, like, it's, it's part of the lore of Final Fantasy. So, like, it's supposed to hurt. Every step of the way, it's supposed to hurt. Like, learning the truth about the world and your surroundings and the people in the innocent surroundings here. Like, that shit's supposed to hurt. Let alone like the internal conflict that like, you're having with yourself, that like, Clive is having with himself as a fact that like I, I have to I have to come to the grips that like all these motherfuckers are dead because of me. Again, I said it like listen, this shit could fuck us up for the next 40 hours of gameplay here. We need another hour today. Um, but what Clive does, like that moment he had with the older man here, like that's necessary. You're supposed to be the beacon of light for not just the bearers, but for the entire world, because obviously the world has gone to shits. It is not something in a case where like Clive was in a coma and disappeared. Like he had POV of that shit. Joe had POV of that shit. Like they contribute to that shit. So. I think this is like depending on where this turns here do they make a stand early or do they make a stand late again there's still so much so much so much to fucking tell here and i can't wait to unpack this here it may take you around 30 hours to beat this game So about, about, thir about 30 hours, about 68 chapters, which again, we'll, we'll take our time with this shit. I'm in no rush. God damn, whatever the hell blew in here and it's pissing me off. But we got time. We're going to unpack. We're going to have fun. Somebody just drops up behind me here. It's a little spooky. But until then, we are going to conclude this episode of Biggie Plays. I um, can't wait to give this game more time. I'm like I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to just do a huge chunk. And I know like right now I'm doing like 2K23 content, WWE that is, and like I'm on the cups of SummerSlam and I want to get that done after getting Bash at the Beach done. So like I think the next weekend day that I have, I may just do a full session of just all Final Fantasy and like do like a three to four hour block of this shit and see where we go but until then 
Again, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, you see my social cycling at the bottom. You do give support and love to the channel. Socials uh, link is in the description of the bio here. Link tree to that. Um, do like the video if you did like this video. If you like any other content that you guys see on the channel, do subscribe. It is free. Like it's free ninety nine. It's free. That's all. Um, and again, you don't just get fantasy content. You get the WWE two K twenty three content. You get it. You get you get Apex content. You just get variety of shit. Like if, so, there's something on here that you like. It's all here. But granted, that means you like what I like. And that's a good thing. It means you're something common. <laughs> um, but outside of that, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you again for the support. Thank you again for the growth of the channel. I, I, don't, I say this all the time when I do, when I do my outros. It's not that I don't see it. I see it. It motivates me more. It really does motivate me. And it gives me the energy to want to continue to do this. It continues to want me to push my drive to do this in different medium forms. Like I'm planning on doing a stream this summer. Don't know when it's going to happen. I want to do a stream. If everything aligns right, it's because I want the live interaction. I still like doing this piece here because it gets me to still feel comfortable in front of that and still be able to keep my mechanics as far as creating scenes and stuff the third, but yeah, more to come next. Outside of that, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you later for the outro.